Просто промовчи для цього тисячу причин. Кожний поди серце зводить. Просто подивись, вже не буде якогось, як поруч я скрізь. Плебіччу чубсо тяжко мамо Ютуб чану Ді я розповідаю Свої вифік фетчі я донки Прото не навітік музикантів Зіго зі освіту Я хвитомак Так і малими думак артистів Я описаю вам Що новини паприка Що ви не будете Дорожче новини зовсім Приїдьтеся до мого каналу Та підприспитись Та викривайте разом зі мною Та мновічні артистів now, my next reaction of today, Tina Carroll uploaded this particular song about a couple of days ago. Um, is it, um, is in, in, in English is Roses. I believe in Ukrainian is um, Troyende. Um, Troyende. I think that's the way I pronounce it. Um, in description of Tina Carroll's um, song, I'm going to highlight that and see what it says. Translate it to our illustrious leader, Google Translator. It says, Tina Carroll releases a track, Roses, about a deep feeling um, that reflects the social drama of today. Um, so, with the song Roses, she says, I wanted to feel the void in the hearts of millions of people so that the silence um, would finally find a soundtrack and a voice. Only those with whom you can be silent as if the same volume because the importance, and that's what Tina Carroll says. And it says, Rona's, Roses is a moment about something when... Something inside breaks into two parts. Betrayal, one part, a truth, past and future. It says the singer and the music author Tina Carroll, once again, uh, mean, wrote a meaningful song that, about a complex inexperience in very simple words using only acoustic gu guitars, string orchestra and percussions. Now, I don't need to tell you the trials and tribulations that um, amazing Tina Carroll has been through, as well as the amazing amount of advice that she can offer through the trials and tribulations that she had. She is one hell of a strong woman. And she has come out of it. She has got the scars to prove her life experience. So when you hear her sing, you see the realistic values that, that pours right out of her and ease into you. And you have so much of a strong impact connection with her when she hits any kind of sub subject. subject. She is really, really amazing. And I'm not saying that because she has put my, she's made shorts out of two of my songs and put it onto her Instagram channel and that reached over 200k views. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> she is absolutely an amazing person. So look, let's go straight into my next reaction of today, shall we? So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Sounds a little bit like an autumn leaves. I love the way it goes. Same chords. Просто промовчи для цього тисячу причин. Кожне поди серце зводи. Просто поди біс. Просто поди. Ще не буде якось. Ще не буде якось. Love her tone, man. Come on. Вечерні троянди 
Tina Cabell with Tudoyande, uh Roses. Amazing song. Come on. I saw uh, a little snort, um, short snippet on Instagram. And I thought, what? Why doesn't it not come up on my YouTube channel? I am an avid fan. I have subscribed as well as to hit the notification button. And yet still, Instagram notifies me about Tina Carroll songs before uh, YouTube. I, I'm, I, I swear they haven't notified me about that this year. So apologies that I haven't done it sooner. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I thought this was been out four, four days ago. I was like, what? What's going on? So yeah, look, I I said this, I think from the first time that I've uh, reacted to uh, Tina Cohen, I think that was back in uh, about two and a half years ago, maybe even longer. And the, the definitions and the depth that she goes within her songs, is, uh, it, it gives you that kind of Mariah Carey kind of um, feeling. And I said that earlier, uh, uh, you know, Ukraine's Mariah Carey. But, the difference between Mariah Carey and Tina Carroll is certainly in the life experience. And, you know, Tina Carroll has by far had so much different array of uh, life experience. So when she puts it into uh, musical terms, like I said, it is just phenomenal. It's just like, you can't deny uh, the feelings. You can't deny the facial expressions. You can't, you just can't deny anything of that, of that whole performance. Whereas Mariah Carey, um, even if she's written a song or not written a song, it's very hard to, for her, I feel, to portray those kind of same uh, feelings as the author written it, you know, because that kind of, it, even though she's got a tremendous voice, the difference is that I can listen to a whole album of uh, Tina Carroll because she would give me an array of variations. I can't listen to a whole album of Mariah Carey. I think by after four, I'd be like that. <laughs> no, because it's that same, she's giving me the same kind of thing and the only thing that's changed is the music. And that may be harsh, but there's certain artists like that, that, you know, I really can't listen to a whole album of particular artists because the only difference is is the uh, the music rather than the actual artist. There's not some, you know, I like different music to create a different kind of experience and tap in um, from an artist. So it could be a different depth, a different texture, a different way. Um, and, you know, it's something that adapts and accompanies, accompanies the, um, the actual song that they're, that they're singing to. Like, and there's only a handful of artists that can deliver that. Um, not saying that all, are, you know, those other artists are not good at singing. They must, they are. They really are. Look at, Tina, um, look at Mariah Carey. She's an amazing singer. It's just that I just, after four songs, it's like I've got to switch off. Um, because what else can she deliver? Uh, and I know that sounds horrible um, to all my Mariah Carey fans. Look, she, like I said, she is an amazing singer. But I just struggle to listen to a whole album. I really do. Um, and, and that shouldn't be a killer moment to um, to get off of. I'm, I'm sorry. Like I said, Mariah Carey is amazing. And I'm not saying that she hasn't had a lifestyle and everything else. I'm just saying that it's... N I'm not comparing, but I'm sure that Mariah Carey would, would love her shoes rather than standing in, in Tina Carroll's. You know, that's what I'm saying. And for that reason, I salute you. Boom. 